Hello students, how are you? Uh, today is our topic how to create 3D logo. Okay, first of all, you have to create new document and select the size 1920 to 1080 pixels. Orientation is your landscape and resolution. You can select according to your system. Basically, you can select uh, 72. Okay. Now go to the create. Okay. Now you can see this is a your canvas. Okay. First of all, I need to color my canvas. Give the background color. I select dark blue color. And you can click Alt Backspace. Okay. Now you can add a new layer from this side. Okay. Or you can add layer. You can see the top file added image layer, layer new and layer, and the shortcut key is Shift Control L. Okay, okay. Now, second step is you have to activate your brush tool by clicking B. You can click, you can press key from keyboard B. Now you can see you can, your brush tool is active. Okay. Now you can select your brush from this area. I am selected soft rounded brush. Okay. Now you can see the opacity 100% and flow 100%. Okay. Now I just change the color of my brush. I want light blue. Okay. And you can increase the size of brush. To the brackets okay open and close brackets are there in the keyboard you can click on this okay you can increase or decrease your size now you can click just click one click on background okay now you can uh, just now we have to apply two effects on this blur in brush okay first effect is uh, blur and gaussian blur i need little bit blurness that's why i select only five or in between five to six okay okay then the second effect is noise and noise now you can see if i increase my noise amount too much noise is there but i want again i want little bit noise that's why i select in between seven to eight okay okay click on okay now the third step is you have to go to the text tool okay type tool just click on it and we need a text here I just click and type pixel okay. uh, I just change my color of the text to black okay. now you can increase the size of your text you know the shortcut key of transform control T now you can see the bounding box click alt from keyboard and stretch it from the corner like this okay now you can see okay clear this part and the font which is i'm using uh, that is uh, thank you so much name of the font is thank you so much now you can see that i just select this and you can see here the font name is thank you so much Okay, clear. Now, now uh, please watch this. Uh, next step is basically you have to click keys from keyboard, Control and Alt. Okay. Now you can see there are the four arrows in your keyboard: top, left, down, and right. Right. Okay. This time you have to click top and left. Okay. Both are clicked respectively okay and 
you have to press Ctrl Alt plus two arrows to make a duplicate layers. Okay, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, you have to make approx uh, fifty one layers. Okay, like this. Now you can see there is little bit depth in your text. Okay. Now you can leave last layer 51. Okay. Now you have to apply two effects in second last layer. Pixel copy 50. Okay. Go to the down and you can see there are if effects. Click on this. First you have to click on bevel and boost. When you click on bevel embos, this window will open. You just have to change only one thing. First is style. Style inner bevel. There are so many bevels out, outer bevel embos, pillow embos, drop. But you have to select inner bevel only. Okay. And no need to change any properties. Okay. Then the second effect you have to apply is color overlay. This one color overlay. You just click on this. Okay, now you can change any color which you want, but I want red color. I just click on OK. Blend mode should be normal and opacity 100%. Okay, now click OK. Now you can see there is a little bit red outline. Okay, but this outline is on your second last layer. Okay. Now you can copy this layer by clicking right click on this layer, right click and click on copy layer style. Okay, now your layer is copy. But uh, you know, if you want to select all layer in Photoshop, you just have to click one layer like this. Okay, and go down. And I want uh, selected to the pixel copy by clicking shift and click from mouse. Now you can see these layers are selected layer from 49 to pixel copy. Okay, you just need to left one layer, original one pixel. Okay, these all layers are selected now. And last step we have done copy this layer and now you have to paste right paste layer style okay now paste layer style now okay now you can see that same effect is pasted on all layers okay this step is clear now now go to the 51 layer that is means last layer in last layer we have to apply four different effects okay first effect is go to the fx first of all you have to select that layer only okay go to the fx first effect is stock when you see your stock window is open you just have to change the color according to you okay i just select yellow and you can increase size according to you okay like this and position it should be outside only if you select inside your stroke will move inside if you select outside then your stroke will appear from outside okay i need outside okay and the second effect is inner shadow this one inner shadow click on this you can pick the color of your shadow is black and blend mode overlay okay and no need to change any other properties okay now the third effect is gradient overlay click on this okay blend mode normal opacity 100% now you can change the color of your gradient by clicking on this you can select your color 
okay according to you okay you can change your color you can select your color according to you from this you have to select the style only linear if you select radial you can see there are so many changes but I want only linear okay now you can see you can change the angle of your gradient okay I just want to need about 90 now you can see okay scale should be on 150 or you can decrease it a bit okay if you want to increase then you can increase that is only according to you okay that is because uh, this is your creativity basically okay and i just like already reverse is select you have to uncheck this when you click reverse it will show reverse if you uncheck this then it will show like a normal okay now the last effect is a uh, drop shadow this one drop shadow just click on it again shadow should be always in black color okay like this black overlay nothing to change anything okay now okay now you can see four effects are applied in last layer okay next step is you know how to select the layers i just want to group all my layers from 51 to pixel copy you have to just select by shift and click same process okay but this time i want to group all my layers that is the shortcut key from the keyboard is ctrl g if you click ctrl g you can see all layers are grouped in one folder okay it is easy to handle all when you open this like this you can see all layers are Okay. Uh, now you have to again go to your original pixel text. Okay, this is my original pixel text. Now I just again that same step. For I press from keyboard control Alt. Okay. Last time you have clicked top and left arrow. This time you have to click right and down, respectively, like this. And last time, if you made, uh, I made 50 layers. This time, I'm taking the double of that layers. It means 100 layers to make a shadow. Okay. Just I click Control Alt, right and down keys from my keyboard, and I'm pressing it respectively, like this. Now you can see it is started from 52. Okay. I have to make 100 layers. It means I have to make 150 layers like this now you can see I am making 150 layers Now, 100 layers are made. Okay. Now you can see there is a shadow is made. Okay. Now, the second last step is now you have to click. Uh, we made 100 layers. So we need to half the layers. Okay. Half layer we have to merge it. Uh, like I am selecting 150, 150th layer, 200 same process by using shift i select that 50 layers last 50 layers this time i don't need to group it but i need it to make a merge 
I want to merge all these layers. That the shortcut key is Control E. When you click on Control E, now you can see that all 50 layers are merged in one layer. This. Okay. Now you can. If I switch off, now you can see all lost 50 layers are merged in one layer. Okay. The last effect you have to apply go to the filter blur and motion blur. Last time we used Gaussian blur, but this time we use motion blur. When you click on the motion blur, now you can see your text a little bit in motion blur. Okay, you can increase and change the size also like this okay right? but i need only a little bit so i just have to select 45 this okay or you can select 60. okay clear now you can see that is the motion blur okay clear last all layers uh, that, that layers are pending just need like this again you have to group all these layers control G like this clear this step is clear I hope you understand all the things okay if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the class okay thank you so much